Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Hitman 2. I think it's no surprise at this point that one of my favorite genres in video games is stealth. I would say it's pretty obvious given how I sneak around in Hunt Showdown, so naturally I would gravitate to Hitman 2. But here's the thing. I think Hitman is not challenging at all with its current rule set, so I invented the Scalpel Challenge to make the game harder. Basically, I will just add 5 more rules to the game. 1. Master Difficulty 2. No knockouts, unless it's my target, everybody else stays unharmed. 3. Silent kills only, which means no alarms will be triggered and no evidence will be left behind. 4. I will not use any disguises, it's suit only. And 5. No checkpoints. If I screw up, it's back to the beginning of the mission. I did it once with Hitman, I have the evidence on my channel to prove it, and I will do it again. And with that said, let the challenge begin. The story so far. Agent 47 and his handler, Diana Burnwood, are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. When all of their recent missions turn out to be contracts for a shadow client, things take an unexpected turn. All their targets have been operatives in an invisible organization known as Providence. Providence has infiltrated the highest echelons of power and secretly owns our world. The Shadow Client wages a silent war against them. And so the Constant, Providence's enigmatic controller, seeks Diana out. His request, track down and eliminate the Shadow Client. In return, he offers something irresistible. The truth of 47's lost origins. Neither know that the man they hunt is 47's childhood friend. And unlike 47, he remembers everything. Our intel indicates that she and her team are laying low, most likely planning the militia's next strike. Reynard is one of the Shadow Client's top lieutenants, and yet she's not a target. Not yet, anyway. She's no doubt high on our client's list, but for now, it's information we seek. Infiltrate the house and get us a lead on the Shadow Client. Up for some B&E, 47. On my way. Beautiful scenery, by the way. Look at that. Okay. So here's the deal. I'm not going to kill anybody with any gun, and I'm not going to knock anybody out except for my targets. Which I will also kill, subsequently. The only time I will use a gun... Yep. Is to get rid of those things right there. Security cameras. That's all I'm allowed to shoot. Good aim. Now, according to the local home security provider, the house is equipped with multiple cameras placed around the perimeter. I suggest you get rid of them, 47. By the way, such a beautiful house. Look at that. Anybody home? It doesn't look like it. Oh, hi. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm happy it didn't see me. Yeah, sure, why not? I'll take it.
Nope. That would have been too easy. Okay, so let's look around the house. There's gotta be some way in. Nope. Okay, everything is locked. I get it. I don't... Can I smash in the windows? Or maybe I don't need to. Oh. Okay. Good that I looked. Oh, that's what the screwdriver's for. Okay. Bodies. Male and female. Early thirties. Executed. I see them. Oh, poor bastards. Looks like Reynard's grisly handiwork, all right. She was never shy about collateral damage. The owners? Don't think so. The house is registered to a non-existing environmental NGO. This feels more like identity theft. Like you, Reynard is known to use disguises. Hmm. Keep looking, 47. Nothing we can do for these people now. I know I shouldn't pick up the lead pipe, because crime scene, all that, although no one will ever find these people, but the professional in me says, take it. It's a distraction item. Of course I'll take it. Masks. Rope. Chloroform. Looks like another kidnapping. I wouldn't put it past them. The Shadow Client is nothing, if not industrious. Why is he doing this? Clearly, he has an axe to grind with Providence. Big enough to surround himself with murderers and terrorists. Big enough not to care who gets hurt in the process. He believes he's doing the right thing, I suppose. Just like everyone else. Really? In the house, too? Found something. Looks like research reports. Berlin. Shanghai. Every major militia strike since Thomas Cross's kidnapping. Looks like Reynard had a hand in all of them. All in the past, I'm afraid. Keep looking, 47. Well, uh, good hiding spot. What's this? Window blinds, okay. I shouldn't touch anything. Maybe the NPCs will know, I'm not sure. Cleaver? Kitchen knife? Don't need it, but thank you. Vodka? Not my favorite alcoholic drink. Honey? Sugar? What else is here? Okay, need keys for that again? And expired can of spaghetti sauce. It's always expired. In the Hitman universe, it's always expired. I don't know if they just don't eat that stuff. Hide the bodies there. Good. Okay, I think I have everything down here. Let's look up. Oh, wait, wait. One more room. And it's a beautiful room. The light, the... Oh, wow. The shower. I want that. I want that shower. I want the whole house. Screw it. Look at that. Hello? Can't have the whole house smelling a nail polish now, can we? <laughs> uh, well, 
And anywho, like I said, uh, just give me a shout. That's Ari, uh, the repair guy. When I hear Ari, I think League of Legends. I'm sorry. Now, what's here? 47. That computer. See if you can't access it. For one second I thought... 47. That bottle. But okay. Encrypted. Hmm. Assuming there's a key, Reynard wouldn't just leave it lying around. Wait. According to the floor plan, the room you're in should be a lot bigger. There might be a concealed space behind the wall. Check for hidden panels, 47. Okay, you're making this very easy for me. Ah, thought so. This should be interesting. Is this a panic room? Nicely done, 47. Getting caught on tape is the last thing we need. Just in case there are any more cameras. Here we go. For the office computer, no doubt. And would you take a look at these beauties here. <laughs> Too bad I can't use any of them. Hmm. Appears Reynard's cell is launching another strike. Those are sewer maps of a residential area in Wellington. Well, there's nothing we can do about it now. Our priority is the Shadow Client. Just let me check this real quick. Oh, okay. This could be a good exit strategy later on. I'll keep that in mind. I should probably close the door. Yeah. Okay, now let's see. What's on the computer? I'm in. Hurry. I'm detecting movement up the road. A motorcade, possibly Reynard's. Uploading the data. Hold on. Receiving it now. Hmm. Nothing on the Shadow Client or the other cells. No names, no aliases. I doubt she even knows whom she's working for. Wait, here's something. A message from Robert Knox of Kronstadt Industries. And by the sound of it, he's a Providence operative. A defector. Well, well, well. Client won't like this one bit. And you can't wait to tell him. They're back. Multiple hostiles. I see them. Damn. Okay, we've got all we're going to get. Go to stage 247. Eliminate Reynard, and preferably without raising suspicion. One step ahead of the Shadow Client for once. Let's keep it that way. Ugh, I thought this night would never end. What a snob fest. And I even missed out on the action. Oh, I'm sorry you had to endure all that free champagne and cello music, Orson. What can I say? You really took one for the yeah, team. Yeah, well, I say stick to what you know. have a cat and did you just put the keys on the table there oh they will come in here I'll use my exit strategy right now thank you very much Okay, so I need to el 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 eliminate her. One more guy right here. Question is, how do I do that? Well, do a bit of outsourcing. Oh, 
could you fix me a cup of tea? Sure thing. You want sugar? Honey? Um, sugar. No problema. Oh, 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 oh. Mr. Donovan. Who oh. I am is not important. Convincing, Mr. Donovan. Take a deep breath and try again. Much better. Now, you will take the stairs up to the rooftop helipad where your boss, Rupert Pierce, is taking his morning job. You will inform his guards that we're. You know, I'm very, very big on distractions. That's how I get pretty much all my kills. What do you think? You heard me, Mr. Donovan. The life of your boss for the life of your wife and daughters. Shouldn't be much of a choice, even for a workaholic. Do you understand me? Very good. Now, go. You don't hear sirens from downtown London in five minutes. Your family suffers the consequences. Mr. Donovan, you your sacrifice. Is it done? Good as. And Mr. Donovan's wife and children? The guys will let them go at the stroke of midnight, unless I say otherwise. Boss's orders. You know how squeamish she gets about collateral damage. She obviously deserves to die. Turn in. You come in or what? Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. I guess my opportunity to kill them down here has passed. Yeah, definitely. I'm not a native speaker. What does turn in mean? At least I have keys Gerard, now. We're turning in. You can keep guard outside the door. Oh, and tell the guys to keep a lookout for Max once they dispose of the body. Yeah. Yeah, they must have run off again. There goes the neighborhood pet. Does it mean go to bed? Is that what turning in means? Forgive me, but that's a stupid term. Oh. Oh. That's a room I didn't see before. But they're here somewhere. His name. Okay, I guess I could change it into... Welcome, Alma and Sean, too. <laughs> How's that? Mm, fa me. Or maybe second Sean. That has a nice ring to it, don't you think? Or Sean Light. <laughs> you know what I'll think of some more while I go and brush my teeth. Fine. I'm gonna hit the shower. You do that, Orson. So he's obviously her plaything. Did I get that right? When are you shipping out again? Say, say what? I said, when are you shipping out again? Oh, 
I'm, uh, I'm supposed to rendezvous with the team in Riga like five days from now. I've got no idea what the mission is or who my teammates are. But all this secrecy is starting to get on my nerves. You know the boss. Belt and suspenders kind of guy. Well, I don't. And neither do you. That's kind of my, uh, that's kind of my point. Call me old-fashioned, but like I say, uh, I didn't think that would work. Target down. Well done, 47. Now get off the property. But I'm happy it did. Okay. Only one exit. My boat. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. No, bad. Better. I just need to get out. I didn't need that squeaky toy after all. Almost, almost out. That's good. Okay. Crouching in vegetation allows you to move around unseen. Okay, so this is the last part of the mission. Just need to get past all the guards. Uh oh. No, no, no. You didn't see a thing. He didn't see a thing. I got this. Okay, I never thought 127 meters would be that far away. The Mercs have discovered your boat, 47. They're on high alert, combing the beach for intruders. Proceed with caution. I don't know what that was good for. Come on, let me through. Are there guys standing at my boat? That's bad. Hmm. No way to get past them unnoticed. I suggest you cause a distraction, 47, and make it a loud one. My specialty. But with what? Okay. I got my distraction. Yeah, that's a gas canister. I got my distraction right here. Just a little more. Come on. And what do you know? I still got it. This is gonna be a fun run. Can I get in there, please? Ah, right.
Okay, I think that's it for this first mission and for this first video. I'll keep going with my self-imposed challenge, just, uh, just to recap. Suit only, no evidence, and of course no takedowns unless it's a target. This will be hard enough, and of course on master difficulty, because otherwise it's no fun. And with that said, thank you so much for watching, and let me know what you think down in the comments below. And of course, I hope to see you in the next video. See ya!